We want to thank all of our patrons. Every little bit really helps, and we really appreciate your support. Yeah, y'all are great. Okay, back at the boat. i um, going to see how much of this I can get wired up today. I think the hardest part is done with all the shore power and the AC and all that stuff. Um, in theory, the rest of this should be pretty easy because everything was, is already kind of wired up anyway. I just need to adjust the lengths of the cables so that they match the new switch panel position and everything. Uh, I did stop by West Marine and picked up this dual bus from uh, Blue Sea Systems. This is going to go inside this panel. It'll have one of the sides will be a hot and one will be a ground um, for everything that's in here. Uh, so there's not too many wires running all over the place. Um, and then I picked up these very small ring terminals that are supposed to fit wire 22 to 18 AWG. Um, this is for my Ray Marine stuff. So like the for both the NMEA connections and for like the power and stuff to the Raymarine S, I think it's the ST60 Plus. Um, they're very small wires. And I had to go to a specialty um, electronic store here in Los Angeles called Fry's, which is cool. But even that place, like a lot of the uh, spots that used to be full of like random, like obscure electronic stuff is gone. I'm sure it has to do with Amazon. But um, with like Radio Shack and stuff not being around anymore, you're kind of limited to being able to pick this up on the day you need it. So these don't have heat shrink, but I, I have like loose heat shrink tube that I'll be able to put on here to take care of that. So um, we're going to see if this works for us. But today, let's start uh, wiring up the breaker switches for everything that we already have wired up, like the nav lights, the steaming light, the anchor light. Um, the autopilot, all that stuff. So um, let's get to it. So, as boat work goes, I just spent like the last hour hooking up what I thought was like the hot and the, the negative for the panels. And uh, I don't have the printed out instructions, um, which is my own fault. Um, all I've been hooking up are the backlit label lights. And I was like, what in the world? I tried to test the circuits and nothing came on. I was like, what is happening here? So I looked online. I have almost no service here on my phone. I looked online, finally got the uh, thing to download. And uh, yeah, this is just like the wires um, for the backlit labels, which I don't want because it's like, if it's hooked up that way, then it's drawing on lighting the backs of these panel labels 24 hours a day, which I don't want. I wouldn't mind having them on like a toggle switch somewhere where I could flip it on when I'm like wanted to see it or something. I don't know. So um, I'm going to unhook those because I don't want something doing a constant drain that's completely unnecessary. Um, easy enough to hook them back up later. So now i got to get into actually hooking up the power to these. Man, this is like classic example of you know this electrical project at least for me it's like it's like 10 steps forward 20 steps back um, so let's get into actually hooking them up now okay so after that silly setback um, I've gone ahead and got my hots wired up for my top breaker panel and my bottom breaker panel so I'm, I'm gonna leave them all soldered and cl clamped in so I'm going to go ahead and wind these up, get them out zip tied together and out of the way. And uh, I've got everything tested. Show you guys. So you can see the lights come on, telling us we got juice to all of them. 
I'm going to change some of these labels, but we'll do that later. So now it's time to finally start pulling everything and start getting some of these um, elements actually wired up. Okay, I'm going to start sending this. This is the um, navigation light. Let me go ahead and send it through our pipe, our wire feed pipe here. And I'd handwritten on this what it was. I have a lot of extra because of the length where this went before, but I'm going to just leave all that extra for, um, and pull it all forward and re, because I want to move everything from the head into the uh, V berth so it's easier to, for me to get to. So I'm going to leave all of my slack forward. But we'll get this in here, find a good uh, length, and then start hooking it up. Okay, so I went and looked at everything. This pair is my running lights. So the red and green lights on the port and starboard. And um, then we have another one that's going to come in through the lazarette for the aft light, and they'll all go on the same switch. I believe this is my steaming light. Um, it's not labeled, but it's zip tied to the nav lights, so I'm guessing that's the case. I have another one that's labeled anchor light, so I know that that's not it. And then another one that's unlabeled that I believe is the forward cabin lights. That, that's the easiest one to check, or I can just touch that to, to a hot and we'll see if we have forward lights. And that'll narrow it down. It's hard to see the anchor light in the daytime, so um, I'm assuming that this is the steaming light. We'll find out. And if it's not, it's easy enough to, to move to wherever it is. So actually, we can go ahead and hook this one up first. I'm going to pull enough slack so I can have my little bundle. Let's see where we have our... So I've divided it up. I've divided it up so that this little three panel is just like my nav light. So there's running lights, steaming light, and anchor light. So the middle one's my steaming light. Let's go ahead and check that out. So this side of the panels is uh, where you have to connect it. So that activates that switch. Gives you juice to that side. The other side is like the hot. When you make the switch, then it gives the hot to that side. I got my battery switch turned off, so there's no... Even though it's only 12 volt, I don't want to short anything out or give anything a burst. Okay, so our first thing is hooked up. Now, I have this, um, a lot of these, like, like the steaming light and the anchor light, I have its ground hooked up at a common ground bus bar forward. So there's not so much spaghetti coming back. Um, that's why I'm only hooking up a single one here. Because it's got its own ground back there. So Let's go ahead and get these clipped to the length we want them. So... see where our so running lights the top one so that's gonna be this one so we'll make our wire let's see how this falls right about there looks good
Okay, so that's wired up. We're going to turn the battery on and uh, flip our running light switch. And we're going to go see if we have power to that. And there you have it. So, the rest of this panel is completely redundant. It's the same thing over and over. It's, you run the wire from one element to the panel, and then you hook it up and you go on. So, I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, knock out the wiring on this panel, and then I'll bring you guys back on for the, uh, the other panel that has the VHF and the the stereo and the Ray Marine and all that stuff, which that stuff's more interesting. This is just like redundant wiring of a switch panel. But I showed you the basics for a couple of them so you understand and hopefully it helps somebody out. I'm not wasting all of our time. Um, so I gotta get to work and knock this thing out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.